Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into your weekly love outlook and take a look at a relationship, connection that you have with someone this week. Alright, so my regulars know I am a Sagittarius myself and I love reading for you guys. So I've already done most of your shuffling off camera. So we're ready to cut your deck. One more. And see what's going on this week. I'm going to pull cards for you and your person, and then later on I will pull uh, clarifiers and oracle cards. So, your person's coming in this week with a Six of Wands, and you are the Chariot. You see, they see you as a Two of Swords, and you see them as an Ace of Swords. They desire a Knight of Cups, Oof, and you desire Queen of Swords. And what needs to happen? Death, transformation, the loss needs to come in, and for you, Eight of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, you have Full Energy. All right, let's get this focused. There we go. All right, beautiful full energy. So what is up with this connection? Wow. All right, Sagittarius. Um, it's interesting that there's a lot of swords energy here. Um, there's definitely a feeling of having to choose, right, or being stuck between a choice that your person is seeing this week. I'm not sure that you see it necessarily that way. Um, but this is how you're seeing this connection. And for them to be coming in as Knight of Cups is quite interesting. I almost wonder if this is a new person coming in, Sagittarius. Now, what needs to happen, Death and Eight of Pentacles, really for you, uh, you need to very much this week, Eight of Pentacles is for you. So it's about you concentrating and remaining disciplined and focused on what you need to do, your work, your livelihood. Don't let this connection or this relationship with this person uh, take you off your focus. Remain disciplined remain focused Sagittarius because ultimately um, this is this is what needs to happen right and so for this energy to be called upon it means that later on down the road the most important thing is that you have your own thing that you've accomplished what you wanted to accomplish with regard to your work or your business and this is going to in very many ways affect how you can connect either with this person or make the decision that you need to make in this connection remember you're preparing for a great stage to come. And so this reading could be for Sagittarius who's single and this person is just coming in, or Sagittarius who's dating this person, they're giving you an ultimatum or a decision. In either case, coming out of this for you, Eight of Pentacles is important. For them, it's death. So they, it's interesting, death is the card for Scorpio. Uh, Chariot is the card for Cancer, just so you guys know. And it doesn't mean that you're dealing with a Scorpio Sagittarius, but it does mean that you're dealing with somebody who is right now, um, I want to say that at, at the very least, this is what needs to happen with, with them, which is the total change. They really need to change. I'm going to say their outlook, their attitude, everything, everything about how they are approaching, I want to say, the situation. I want to say even more so about themselves, because for what for death to come in uh, as in the position of what needs to happen for them to get what they want. It absolutely means that uh, it, it, there needs to be a fundamental change almost in the way that they maybe even interact with you or how they even carry themselves. There's something that needs to happen here. It's interesting because for you, there are no cup cards. There's only this work. And yeah, there's a mental kind of aspect here. There's a clarity here for you and certainly a feeling of and a, des a desire. And I want to say a feeling probably of being able to be yourself, but yet you're driven back into work here. And I wonder, again, this may be a, a person that you either either a new person or it could just as much I want to say even more so it could be somebody that you already know Sagittarius who you kind of to a certain degree have made your mind up about and so in order for them to really be able to sweep you off your feet the way they want to they do need to uh, change they do need to change Okay, so this is not necessarily a relationship that you're in, Sagittarius. This could very much be somebody new coming in. Somebody that you know, but who's coming in on a new level. You know what I'm saying? It could be a friend, co-worker, colleague, whatever. You, have a, you may have indeed have a connection with this person. Um, but in order for it to get to where they want it to be, they're the ones who need it to change. In order for you to get what you desire, which is Queen of Swords, you, you're uh, basically being able to be yourself um, and, and, and having this connection on your terms. Uh, for you, what it's called upon is more, more concentration on work this week. It could just mean that, you know, 
certainly don't jump, right, just because they're coming in with that Knight of Cups. It could be they might be trying to get your attention this week, and you should maybe even play a little bit harder to get, but much more so not in the Four of Cups kind of way, but much more in a kind of like, look, I legitimately have a lot of work to do this week. You know, I'm not playing games with you. I legit have a lot of work to do. Star Energy, the second seven, the first seven is the Chariot. The second seven is the Star, so that's really beautiful to come out. Page of Cups and Five of Cups. Somebody is hurt over the past. Again, here we have Five of Cups energy. This is interesting. Five of Cups energy has been coming out. This feeling of past lovers coming in has been coming out for the last couple of weeks. Sagittarius, star energy is coming in. So this is very much about what you truly desire for yourself also. And what I mean by that is like the type of relationship you want for your life, right? First seven chariot associated with paving the road to your dreams. And star energy is about constantly fertilizing and paying attention so that you're making the right decisions to have the kind of life that you want. Star is the card for Aquarius, Chariot is the card for Cancer, and Death is the card for Scorpio. Fi Page of Cups also, again, indicative or certainly in in a sign that there is new love here. Someone is giving you a cup of love. They're starting all the way from square one. And Page of Cups indicates that to me, certainly this could be, again, somebody coming in from the past where there was a page of, uh, excuse me, a five of cups energy associated here. Somebody had their feelings hurt, or maybe this relationship just never got off the ground. But there is a kind of uh, a regret and a heartache here associated with a past event, and it's connected to this. So, again, it could be that this person is seeking reconciliation with you or a second chance with you. And in order for that second chance to work, they still have to have this major shift in themselves, death energy. They still need to really change, right, in order to sort of, if this is a, like I say, if this is either, either it could be a friend of yours or someone who never, you never really had a deep, a love connection with who's trying to let you know they're interested, or it could be somebody that you maybe had a, had some connection with, but Five of Cups indicates a regret, right, a past regret, and it feels to me much more like they're the ones doing the regretting, right? Let me put it to you this way, because it isn't, you're not coming into them, they're coming into you. They're the ones who are Knight of Cups coming into you. So it could be vice versa, vice versa Sagittarius, but uh, for me, it feels very much like you're the one who's about to start a whole new chapter in your life. You have full energy here, so you're really kind of coming into a whole new stage, and yet there's this five of cups of regret, and the regret I don't feel from your end. I definitely feel it from their end. Again, they're coming in this week feeling hopeful, but they still need to make major changes with that death card in order to get what it is that they truly want out of this connection. Let's see what the oracles have to say. Spirit of the child... Spirit of Envy and Spirit of the Stranger. Wow. So there's a lot of different energies. Oracle says Spirit of the Child is at play. So adventurousness this week, innocence, almost immaturity perhaps. Spirit of Envy and Spirit of the Stranger. So discontent, resentful, miserable. Somebody's unhappy here. I'm not going to lie. Let me see if I can get this focused a little bit better for you guys. Somebody's unhappy here. and There's a discontent here. Spirit of the stranger and a caution, warning, danger. So there's something, there is a, a there is a, an energy here this week of playing, I want to say, almost with fire. But again, it could very well be because this might be associated with a past connection. And you've already, there's, there's already some emotion associated with this and certainly some... I want to say uh, dissonant, discontent emotion, because Five of Cups is, you know, misery. It's misery. It's res it can be resentful. It can be miserable. But it's certainly regret over a past uh, event or a past tr pain, a past hurt, a past heartache, right, and love. And yet uh, it is there. So there's a reconciliation feeling here for me, but there's also kind of leftover unfinished business. There's also be careful, disconsent and resentfulness, because sometimes people do come in for reconciliation and they come in to reconcile with you because they realize that they made a mistake. But a part of them still kind of resents the fact that they, they, they resent you a little bit almost because it's like, damn, you know. 
why am I so in love with this Sagittarius that I can't just leave it alone? You know what I mean? And so, yes, I'm in love with Sagittarius. Yes, I, I, I am uh, regretful of how uh, things went in the past. But part of me, with this particular individual, this connection, part of me is still a little bit resentful that Sagittarius has such a hold of my heart. Right? They almost blame you a little bit for having a hold of their heart. So be very careful. There is some weird dissonant energies here, despite the fact that there's a strong feeling of wanting you back, wanting to pull you back in. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that, Sagittarius. This is your reading. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you got some clarity that helped you with this particular connection and it resonated. Please like, subscribe, and share. All of that good stuff is what we always ask you for as creators to help us stick around. So if you like my channel, you like the reading, that's what I ask for. And I hope that I see you again. But for right now, my fellow brother and sister, Sagittarius, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week for your weekly love outlook. Bye-bye now.